well we're here on our residential dig we're doing it's the uh second official residential dig that we've done i guess we did one right when we started with the mini x and it took us 33 hours to dig it I swore i would never do it again so i haven't really pursued any residential but this one was for a friend so here we are <coughs> Kind of cold this morning, so go down, and fire the machine up, let it warm up a little bit while we set the laser up. So, kind of got our outline, got a slope for safety for the concrete guys. Got most of it dug out, probably half of it dug out. On the basement, so I have the garage footings to do. Before we get too far, we'll check this because this machine just got serviced and a lot of my guys don't like checking stuff in the mornings, which we keep them pretty busy, so this thing needs to be cleaned up. Tons of oil and dirt in there Ugh, it's getting pretty thick looks like that's leaking a little bit that might just be residual it was pretty tight looks like we got something in there leaking crap everywhere Hydraulic's good. This is from one of our beautiful employees. Happened last year, 2018. They wouldn't admit to it though. We know who did it. Assume we know who did it, I guess. Right there on the high mark. Freeze is good. Everything else looks good. I have to clean that up a little bit on the fill right here on the motor. And we'll do that tomorrow when we're done digging this basement.
machine, machine we absolutely love. It's 323F. It's great control on it. Which we don't utilize too much. We do a lot of utilities, so we do more checking with it than digging with it, but hopefully we'll get some more jobs and be able to utilize it more. Let that warm up for a bit. Get my stuff ready. I need to not use that hand. That's probably gonna make for some crappy footage. Ooh. I also topped off the final drive oil on the 323. One of the bolts was loose. And they put the wrong oil in it, so now I get to switch that out tomorrow as well. Both sides, so always double check what oil you're supposed to use before you just start filling stuff up. Where to set this? again it's a little high and obnoxious but we will get it I've really had good luck with these. It's manual slope but automatic level. Let me make sure it's yeah, it's on, battery's good. spinning before we go down. Yeah, we're good. here yesterday so we can zero easier today this is not going to work one handed for those of you that don't know Grade rods. This is a 10th grade rod, engineer. 
So you go here on the back, and you're trying to find your laser that's way up there. You can just read these poles. Your number. I guess I better turn it on first. Yesterday we were about 16. That's pretty dang close. There was 16.45 yesterday. Looks like today we are at 6.28. Or 632 16.32 so we'll write that number down and so we can use it later get this back down just scored on these great rods have a friend that bought two of these from somewhere someone normally 130 bucks a piece new We've got two of these used for $50 no, it's not a hot grade rod. It's from a vendor that we know. We went to an auction. Guy going out of business. So we do not buy stolen stuff. In fact, we had a guy pull up on site a few weeks ago and tried selling us some hot stuff. And anyway, called the cops. Don't know whatever ended up with that, but. We'll see. I'll see you in the track hole. Okay. I don't know if you can read those numbers or not. But this is basically how this works. First, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to hit my... Facing it, you can see the laser right here on this side. It's pretty sensitive as far as up and down. It's right there.
except the laser first. Should be higher than that. This is extremely helpful on sloping lots. As you're moving a lot, it can get pretty deceiving. Left trigger. Top, should accept the laser. We'll go back and check our zero. And we're right there. So now wherever we are, we can move. Let's get these RPMs up. Move, hit the uh, accept the laser. You never have to re zero it. If you re zero it, then you got to go re benchmark off the zero because that'll mess up your benchmark according to the laser. So we're going to move over here. We're going to get some of this up in here. Take it down here to the bottom side of the lot. So we're having to move dirt a couple times on this lot. Where they want it. Once you have it benched, if you have a step in your foundation or footing or whatever, you can then just put an offset in, whatever you got to step it up. the laser and then you're good to go again that way so different elevations you don't have to mess around and re-zero it or anything you just put your offsets in it makes it convenient that way too you can use different elevations off the same laser as long as you know what that is just put your, as long as you know what the offsets are height difference machine we do have autos meaning that when you get to grade on that zero it won't let you go down below it unless you're coming in hot and heavy then it'll go down below it but once it detects you're below it it won't let you do anything until you get up above grade so that makes it convenient as well to auto right there it says auto with the line through it that means it is not available until the hydraulics warm up because it uses the hydraulics for some of the measurements the flow of hydraulics going into the cylinders instead of actual angle sensors and stuff like that it uses the actual cylinders on the bucket we don't have extra stuff sticking out there to get and get ripped off. So we'll get these hydraulics warmed up and kind of show you how that works on autos.
numbers, how high and low you are. Also, just so you know, it is it does not do the whole bucket. I know Komatsu has the program that does the whole bucket. This one is just the tip of the teeth or cutting edge, whatever bucket you have on, you can program different buckets in to the computer. This one here looks like something did not work out right. I'm going to have to go down there and rebench. Hydraulics warmed up. We now have our autos. Check it, make sure I didn't do this wrong. We definitely got to revenge it. benching but
has about 12 feet of slope just in the house portion. Constantly leveling up the track hoe. anything right here without uh, right there I can perfect and so this moved hogged out or something to clean up the bottom because I hit big rocks which keeps having to fill and fill in the little voids and leaves and when we do hit them that way we can get it compacted and get everything good and start building on there so you know pull those out before I bury them on this beeper it's extremely loud it uses the same beepers when you detach the bucket so went and stuck duct tape over it so it's not quite as bad now. In fact they had it duct taped so shut that you couldn't even hear it. I told them they had to pull it off a little bit so we get a little bit of noise.
fits right in the bucket. Four foot bucket, so probably three and a half. So, no, it's not gonna roll. Nothing funner and nothing more nerve-wracking than rolling rocks down a hill, depending on what's below you. when you when you're pushing on the control it'll switch while you're moving but it won't switch if you're moving the control which is frustrating sometimes you want to swing it and bring it in and out of auto depending on what's going on if you have a rock or something and you're trying to dig it out and it's on auto you want to switch it out because it won't let you go deep enough to pull it out. Vice versa, if you're hogging it out, then you want to get Honda Autos to do your final passes, then you want to switch it in, but you don't want to stop and wait for it. So if Caterpillar could switch that, that would be great. See right here. Well, let me go deeper. Right now I'm just pulling the stick in and it's lifting the boom automatically, adjusting the bucket to keep the same angle on it. it just keeps it right there. and then come in with the skids here or something, fine tune it. If you get into something super hard, not super hard, relatively hard, sometimes that last two to three tenths is difficult to get down to grade with auto, so we usually switch it to manual and just do it manually and want to put it back on auto and check it but I don't know how good you can see that through the screen probably not very good but it'll put it right there within a inch plus or minus I would say but story every time I hear my phone ringing in the editing I want to check my phone because I think it's my phone ringing oh it's annoying anyway that's how the autos work hey Chris how are you what's up with it <laughs> 